Hey what's up guys, in this video I will be showing you how to go back to the stock firmware on your Galaxy Note 4. So this tutorial will work with all the Note 4 variants, but you must get the respective firmware file as per your model number. Right now I'm using the Exynos 910U variant. Here I will be doing a clean installation, that means before installing the firmware I will be wiping all the data as I'm coming from a custom ROM so that I can get a fresh stock firmware. Now hit link 1 from the description that will take you to this page, download and install the Samsung keys on your PC. This is very necessary for the drivers. From the link 2, download and install PC Odin. Link 3 will take you to the official firmware site. You can search for your firmware as per your Note 4 variant. Installing the stock firmware will remove root access as well as custom recovery. Make sure to back up everything important before proceeding. Once done, turn off your device. Now that the device is off, you can hold the volume up, power and the home button at the same time until you see the Note 4 displayed. So this will take us to the recovery mode. Your recovery might look different but don't worry, once you are on the recovery mode, just go ahead and perform a factory wipe. Once done, go to Mount and Storage and Format System. Now that's done, go back, go to Advanced and Power off the device. Once the device is off, hold the down volume, power and the home button at the same time until you get into the download mode. So once you see this, Connect your phone to your PC via the USB cable and hit the volume up to continue. Leave your phone as it is. On your PC, launch Odin and hit yes. So here you must see this IDCOM tab blue, this means your device is detected else you can try uninstalling and reinstalling the Samsung keys. Leave rest of the settings as it is. Now hit AP, go to the extracted file of the firmware, select it and hit open. So this will take some time to load. Once done, hit start. So guys, uh, this will take some time, I will be back with you guys once this is done. So we are almost done here. Once you see reset, unplug your phone from your PC and wait for your phone to reboot. So there you go guys, we have successfully installed the official stock firmware on the Note 4. Now I will be able to receive official system updates. As you can see, I don't have any of the third party applications as well as no apps from the custom ROM. So that's all for this video guys, thank you guys for watching, I hope you found this video useful. Stay tuned for more and you guys have a great time.